Hello, welcome to Brimwood Farm. We are going to the South of England Agricultural Show today. Uh, it's the second one of the year. I'm really excited. It's going to be way bigger than the one we did last month. Um, so there's going to be tons of animals to see. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. So this is going to probably be quite a long video, so to save you the time watching everything, if you check the description below, um, I will link to um, the different parts with the different animals, so you can just skip forward to pigs or cows or sheep or whatever is your fancy. Um, I'm also going to link to the previous show we went to right up here, um, so you can see that that was the Young Essex Farmers show as well. So let's go. So we've gone straight to the sheep, uh, we've got these Hampshire Downs who are hiding away from us. We're going to go and explore the rest of the sheep and then um, I'll take them to see the pigs. Okay, I brought us back to sheep. Because I love them. I really want sheep, like yesterday. Look at this boy. They haven't actually got a sign for what they are, but I think they're from France. Um, and they were bred for, obviously not their looks. They were bred for their, their meat and their wool. And so they have this funny face. It's kind of ugly cute. Are you ugly cute? Yeah, you are. I found some more Suffolks. So these are the type that we're going to have because it's in keeping with our farm in Suffolk, which is where they're from. Um, they actually, if I remember correctly, they're not normally that colour, but for shows they're actually dyed. So you can see the ones behind them are a little bit orange and that one's rather yellow. Um, but they actually dye the wool. I don't know. I think it's to show the shape off better and to show the, the black head and the black legs off better. I could just watch sheep chewing the cud all day long. Until of course I again then get distracted by cows chewing the cud. And then there's these lovely black Welsh mountain sheep in here with the horns. They're quite small. Right, we really are going to see pigs now, I promise. Do you like pig art? No. <laughs> 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 and I'm a bit scared of pigs if I'm on this.
away to the cows, but we found another tent of sheep. So I just thought I'd show you these really cute lambs. Hello. And these ones aren't sheep, these are rabbits. <laughs> You're hilarious. You are hilarious. Look at these ears. I've lost my husband to sheep. <laughs> Basically, if we ever get sheep, I'm never going to see my husband again because he's going to be in the field taking pictures and striking them. Aren't you? <laughs> Picture time! He's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm just going to have to make a sheep video because there is so much footage I've taken already of sheep. They're amazing. Hello. <laughs> Look at this building. Look how big this building is. And it contains my favorite thing in the world, cattle. So we're gonna go around. I'm not gonna film them all because you'll be here literally for an hour looking at cows. So let's just go and take a look inside. Okay, I said I wasn't gonna film everything, but I can't help it. Look at these cows! Okay, so these are Aberdeen Angus. Beautiful cows. They've got tons more cows here than they did at the other show. Um, and you can actually, you can see there's no barriers because they've got these static railings that they can fix them all into. So I guess that's why we can come right up close and personal with them, which is kind of exciting. Yeah. Oh, well, they do tend to do poos. They're cows Oh yeah, a little car. So the good old Highland cattle. Now we are going to have, although we're going to have red poles, I am partial to a Highland cattle. So we might have, we might have a heifer, might we? Just because they're rather gorgeous. first ever considered cows I thought about Dexters because they're tiny so here are some of the Dexters and you can see how small they are stand next to them so I can show you so they are tiny this sad there's a cow tiny cows however I have been told that even though they're a good dual purpose for milk and meat they may be small but they are quite characterful and they can be a bit of a handful which is why I had second thoughts and then I'm thinking about Dexter's um, red poles instead of which there aren't any I can't find any red poles so we're having a Dexter fill up instead So we're, we're hanging out with a Holstein, or a Holstein. So these are dairy cows, so this is where a lot of our milk comes from. And she's super nice and chilled. 
and velvety. She's really velvety, that's the thing with cows. You think they might feel rough, but they don't at all, it's like velvet. Does her ear tag say her name? Sometimes they do. Oh, goldfish. She's called Mogul Goldfish. Hi, goldfish. You're lovely. She's obviously been milked quite recently because her udder is not very full, but you can see the veining on that, it's crazy. We finally found a map and we realised we missed two important things, goats, poultry, so we are going there right this second. Oh look, they've got owls there that I said show. Oh okay, and then we need to come back and see some horse racing and horse jumping. Oh, and gardens as well. We haven't got enough time! Let's go! <laughs> Here we go, we found... Oh my goodness, there's so many in here. I don't even know where to start. Oh my god. <laughs> 40 years old, the South of England Agricultural Show. I've lost sides of the pigeons. Okay, let's start over here. the goat market. Look at the skin tags. Oh, I love them. Are they skin tags? I don't know why they have them. Wattles. <laughs> yeah, wattles. I don't know what use they are. These kids are... Hello! Okay, cute kids. The long ears. Are they Nubians, these ones? They might be. Straight your head. So that's her hay, but of course, no, stealing her mate's hay. That is how I feel right now. I need a cup of tea. Isn't it bliss to be a goat? We're 
going to say goodbye to the goats with these lovely Anglo-Nubians. Who are rather fine girls. Good for milking. So we're going to go and explore the rest of the show. We've seen all the animals. Uh, we might go to the garden section. And I am in desperate need of a cup of tea. So we're done, we're really tired. We're gonna just go back to the car and go home. And also, although the show only ends at 6.30, um, it's 5.30 and they've already started shutting up and all the animals have been shut off, which was kind of annoying for my friends that only arrived at three because by the time we went to the animal tents, um, they couldn't get in to see them. But yeah, we've had a really, really good day. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.